Dunn. We did learn just a few moments ago that she was a DPS crime lab employee. According to an arrest affidavit obtained by Chris 6 News on Monday afternoon, a woman called police after a 30 year old Moses Sandoval called a woman and told her that he had just choked Dunn, his girlfriend. When officers arrived at the Sandcastle Apartments on Everhart, Sandoval reportedly told police Dunn was inside the apartment and was dead. The arrest affidavit also says that Sandoval told police, quote, I did it, end quote. Sandoval has been charged with murder, and he told police the two had been arguing because they had cheated on each other. Owners of a local nightclub are picking up the pieces tonight after a break in over the weekend. Oh my God. Look at this surveillance video happening early Sunday morning at the Nest nightclub on Yorktown Boulevard near Cimarron. And in the video, you can actually see a pickup truck backing up to the front door of the club. Two men jump out and break open the door and then they snatch the ATM. Here's that video. The owner says that he's not going to shut down. Corpus Christi police, though, say that they continue their investigation. And new at 10 tonight, prosecutors in Nevada say three people from Texas could face terrorism and hate crime charges following a shooting spree on Thanksgiving in suburban Las Vegas. The suspects are 28-year-old Christopher McDonald and 25-year-old Kylie Nicole Lewis, pictured here along with 30-year-old Sean McDonald. The Tyler, Texas residents went on an 11-hour rampage on Thanksgiving Day that began in the city of Henderson, which is in Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas, where a 22-year-old man was killed at a convenience store. Nine others were injured in several more shootings before the suspects were arrested in Arizona. Four more people have died here in Oasis County from COVID-19. There are three men and one woman, their ages ranging from their 40s to their 80s. And this means that 493 people have died from COVID-19 complications in Oasis County. Now, the confirmed number of coronavirus cases has also climbed by 156, pushing our total case count closer to the 25,000 mark. And here's a look at the latest coronavirus cases throughout the coastal bend. You can get a detailed look at these numbers county by county by going to our website christv.com and new at 10 tonight the COVID-19 vaccine it is expected to be in the Lone Star State in less than 14 days Governor Abbott saying today that the Centers for Disease Control will send out 1.4 million doses to Texas right around December 14th. And as we have reported, medical workers will be the first up for that vaccine. The governor says there should be more vaccines coming later in the month and early next month. Well, it is time now to get a quick check of our forecast. For that, we turn over to meteorologist Bill Alexander, who is in for Dale tonight. It's so nice to see you, Bill. It's been months since I've seen you in person. Absolutely yeah. months, and uh, it's just great to be here, and yeah. it's an honor to be with you. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on outside right now. It's really dropped down now, 61 degrees, uh, clearing skies out there, still some clouds in the area, 71 degrees, uh, 70. A north wind at 17 miles an hour and skies are partly cloudy over most of the area. Rain is gone from the region, but we're still looking at a small craft advisory that'll be hanging around through midday tomorrow. How about the rest of your forecast? We'll talk about that later. Katya. All right, sounds good. Thank you for that. And the Flower Bluff Hornets, they have a major opportunity in front of them this Friday night coming up. What a win could mean for their playoff chances. And next, how the coronavirus has impacted singing legend Gloria Stefan. In the past few weeks, I have been one of the victims of COVID.